Uh, meanwhile, our next guest is proof that grace and beauty are timeless and ageless. Nori Gordon uh, was born the same year as the State of Israel. The 70-year-old model strutted the catwalk at Tel Aviv Fashion Week uh, earlier this year, and she is here with us now. Hello, hello. Hello to you. I'm telling you, I bet you are more beautiful now at 70 than you probably felt when you were 20. Is that absolutely, true? Absolutely, absolutely. I think I only started feeling like this five years ago five years ago so what was the so first of all you're 70 you were born the same year as the state of israel how cool is that absolutely i think we're celebrating 70 um, 70 today is the is the last last time it was uh, the last 40 is today the 70 the right. 70 is today the last 40. <laughs> so what was it like so you you know you're israeli but you grew up mainly in the uk and you know you you came back to israel and it was modeling something you wanted to do even when you were young and just what held you back from doing it? I think I did. I think I was always too fat. Uh, when I grew up as a teenager, it was it was um, it was Jean Shrimpton and and the very super thin models Twiggy. like Twiggy, and that was the ideal. And I was I was I still am not, but I was never like that, and I never felt comfortable in my own skin. What do you think that is? You know, as a woman, being beautiful. I mean, listen, you're beautiful. Like, why it's. You know, it's so surprising to me, you know, how many of us, you know, have what seemingly is confidence, beauty and all that. But like, what is it as a woman that makes it so hard to really just embrace, you know, all of our nooks and crannies, so to speak, or our I, imperfections? I think something from the inside of you has to come out and it has to be facilitated somehow. It happened to me five years ago. I was invited to come to audition for a fashion show and I... I dared to go, and then Moti Raif, who was the director of the fashion show, just took me by the hand and led me up and down, up and down the catwalk. And, and I discovered, I started feeling comfortable about the way I looked and cameras and seeing pictures of myself everywhere. Um, it's, a, it's a whole new revelation I bet, for me. I bet. Now, to be part of Tel Aviv Fashion Week, I mean, this was really a great year. I know this is the second time that you've participated, but this year really was, you know, committed to embracing women of all ages, all sizes, all, you know, ethnicities. You know, so what was the feeling like to be part of such a great community this year? Well, first of all, hats off to to the designers who've embraced us, uh, and I think the 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 public out there, women, really want to see us um, as well, and and this is the. This is my message. I think this is probably my vocation in this new career of mine, just to show other women, uh, other women that they can to show to, to try and help designers try to design things with us in mind. Mm. And yes, um, it was an amazing fashion show. And you I also, think. you're a grandma, I'm right? A grandma. You have three. How many grandchildren? Three. Three. Grandsons or granddaughters? Uh, granddaughters. So did you like kind of get tips from them or kind of ask their input before, you know, you kind of walked into this this new whole new role? Uh, not really. My children, my daughter especially, is, uh, is standing very strong behind me and pushing me forward. And I think one does need encouragement because it's, it's, it's scary at this age. But also, you know, you have these, you know, these grandchildren. I mean, how cool is this that you could kind of be a role model for them? I mean, is I this, know. are they too young to kind of be aware of what grandma's doing? Um, no, because they've seen me on bus stops and they think it's hilarious. I don't know if you're showing some of my pictures. But, <laughs> we have uh, the backgrounds. <laughs> they've got a picture. They, uh, there's a picture of them um, hanging around one of the one of the bus stops that had my my posters were all over the, all over the country. I think they think it's very cool. I think they'll understand more when they're older. Than, yeah, when they're older. They're, well, listen, I mean, it's going to rub off, and you know, who knows? They could be, you know, they're going to take a page from from uh, your book. Also, so what kind of uh, fashion trends do you you know do you like? Like it, you know, as far as especially you know here in Israel, where it's becoming such a capital of you know new ideas and you know fashion tech and whatnot. Um, I think we have a tremendous industry here. I think it's, um, I, I like the classic look. I think, um, I'm, I, I don't know how I had the courage to take part in the very crazy uh, Shinkal fashion school, uh, fashion show, uh, which was also reported in, in Vogue Italy, um, that was very daring. I think, um, yeah, I feel comfortable in classic simple clothes. But uh, I wear what they tell me. I'm, I'm not I'm <laughs> yeah, not you're not going to be a diva. No, <laughs> you know, no, no, no. no, I don't, no. I'm not going to wear no. that. So, you know, what other types of, you know, what other, you know, types of, you know, campaigns are you looking to do? Like, do you feel like, you know, Israel is kind of 
you know, kind of opening up to having more of a range, like in ad campaigns and you know some of the retail stores, or are you finding that there's still a barrier? To I end, do to find enter? I do find they do call me occasionally when they need an, an older looking woman, a, a nice looking um, granny. They call <laughs> me. Uh, I've recently done um, something that's about to come out: um, two ads, one for a mattress and one for one of the yogurts. Uh, they sometimes do. They they don't only go for the nice young pretty um, kids um, I they think realize that you know they get a whole package when they're getting you know I think we're a good woman with experience and knowledge and wisdom and and you know the whole you know 360 degree view of life right I think yeah. they, they, they're going after the American and European uh, model and <sighs> we're catching up we're catching, we're catching up. up slowly but surely